Hi, welcome to my tutorial on how to build a Wi-Fi antenna. Brought to you by Doobie Tie-Dye and Hemp. That's my Peace Warrior Tie-Dye. And check out my American Apparel Jean Jacket. Pow! The sirens say it all. They're made with pro MX translucent dyes which means they blend like layers of colored glass through the color spectrum. That's one for the family pooch. That's the American Apparel doggy shirt. And we got the infant onesie, also made by American Apparel. All right, let's get down to brass tacks here. Now, your standard wireless card can receive and send signals 130 feet. Now, a store-bought USB adapter, as we see here. Well, that basically doubles the distance. Now, a cantenna can get up to 3 miles or 40 times the distance. Now, they say that the... Uh, the gain is increased by 300 and some people say 500 percent. Now, the FCC in the United States prohibits taking people's signals. As you can see, I live downtown in Victoria, British Columbia here. And we have a free Wi-Fi for the folks living downtown. Not for the pigeons though, that's, that's Chris and Pat. Looks like they brought a friend. Chris and Pat always visit me. And you know Chris and Pat, because I didn't know which one was the male or female, so I figured I couldn't go wrong. But they come here all the time. Isn't that neat? Anyway. So, yeah. So, um, you can see that, uh, you know, downtown here, we got the free Wi-Fi. And, uh, you know, there's lots of other um, public services down here that, that allow public use. So, uh, you know, it's illegal to steal other people's signals, so uh, use your discretion. You will need a three to four inch diameter can. The longer the better. Don't use one with a, a lip that folds in because that can hamper the signal uh, coming, coming in and out of the can from the Wi-Fi. You'll need an N-type female chassis. I found this one at an electronics store. It's a specialty item you may have to get on the internet and I find the best deals on eBay for all these kind of items. Words of wisdom. You'll also need a USB wireless adapter like I showed you here. You'll need a copper rod. Now I found this at, uh, well you can get one at your hardware store, I found mine at a hobby shop. But if you can't find that, you can always use some copper wire, cut it to an inch. You'll also need a drill, silver solder, solder paste right. cleans out the impurities you put that in before you put it on the heating iron here which is the next thing we'll need this one's a little gas one little heating iron well you need some screws well I only use two because I didn't want the uh, screws we can see you can call us for four, but you know, I don't want all these screws sticking inside my can interrupting the signal. If that's how it works, I mean, who's to say? You need an N type RP SMA male to male pigtail cable. 
Now you're going to want the cable to be shielded if you're making it yourself, but if you buy it already made, you don't have to worry about that. And shielded because uh, it will lose the signal along the length of the cable if it's not shielded. So you're going to want that. Just to repeat that, that's N-type as in November, RP as in Romeo Papa, SMA as in Sierra Mother Alpha, male to male, pigtail cable. All right. Now, what happens, your standard antenna here sends and receives signals in all directions. Your cantenna sends and receives RF signals in one direction. When you place the antenna inside the can, what happens is the signal is reflected inside the can into a standing wave. All right. You can calculate where to place the antenna measured from the bottom of the can by the diameter. The diameter is placed into a, well, let's back up here, the quarter, the standing wave, this is the quarter, quarter wavelength point, half is over here, three quarters over here. Now my can's a little bit short, so you can't get into the three-quarter wavelength, but uh, you wouldn't want that anyway. You're going to want the quarter inch, or the quarter point. All right. Now, I just have to give a quick shout-out for our weekly World Peace Rally, as you can see over there. Here in our uh, province's legislative building, I pray that you do the same because you need to know that these wars are all fake and started by the banker gangsters, our slave masters. They create the enemy, they start the wars, all for their world domination. They want their world bank in these poor countries and they want to steal the people's natural resources. They lie to you to get you to fight for them. Osama bin Laden was from one of their billionaire families and Hitler was bankrolled by them. We are one in this world. All of us. Back to business. Now, you measure the diameter of the can to formulate the hole's distance from the bottom of the can with a calculator found at Jeffatech dot com that's juliet echo foxtrot alpha tango echo charlie hotel dot com all right so what we're going to do is assemble this cantenna oh before i go i forgot to mention the other thing i'll be hanging mine off the back of the tv because the signal is going to be so great since i live downtown here it's not going to matter your situation you may want to get one of these all right a tripod you can get that for next to nothing at your thrift store all right people are just giving them away but anyway so here we go we're going to get back to you and we're going to put this thing together and i am going to show you how it works all right we're back and as you can see, we have our rod soldered at the 1.2 inch mark from the inside of the can. And if you cut the rod at 1 inches, that should get to the 1.2 mark. Okay. Now you can try different lengths to see which one gives the best reception for you. And you measure the signal on Intelli admin.com program.
inteliadmin.com program seen right here. Now when I first tested the, the signal with just the Wi-Fi card and the computer, it tested around 26% and showed one source. All right. Now I went back and I tested it with the USB adapter there and the antenna that it's usually normally hooked up to those and it tested 62% strength fluctuating with 27 recognized sources. Now with my Wi-Fi antenna, as you can see it tested on the IntelliAdmin program over there it shows 100% that was the peak and it fluctuated in the 90s and that. So Good look at that and you can see everything's the cans hooked up to the the point here everything's running right and that's hooked up to the can as you can see and there Ooh, look into the eye no don't you don't want him upset at you <laughs> well that should be about it now I hope you like and subscribe to my TV station Doobie Tube, where you can see our weekly yoga classes is on Doobie Tube, as well as meditation music and other do it yourself instructional videos with a world full of useful topics. You can click on the link and check out my tie dye site. Here's the Peace Warrior again. We have lots of different tie dyes on there and share this video with your Facebook friends they will love you for saving them fishfuls of cash every month immediately following is my short parallax ad animated show of my UFO sighting and alien abduction with Jimi Hendrix David Bowie John Lennon and Yoko Ono world peace